Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Kara Therapeutics C-A-R-A summary for the 29th of January, 2024. And in the summary, we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of the company. So I generally follow Small Cap Pharma. I do games. I do a little bit of everything. So if you like what I'm doing, hey, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot, and thank you. Our disclaimer is I currently do not own shares, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. And I am an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence. And any, any information given is valid for today, the 29th of January, and the slideshow will not be updated. But as you get new news, new slideshow. Well, let's get into it. The investment thesis. So this is definitely a high risk, high reward, all or nothing kind of stock. We're either going to be left with very little or a lot. So Kara has cut almost all of its research in favor of one indication, uh, which is NP, which is what we're going to be calling it, using its oral diphelicaflin uh, drug. Uh, NP currently has no approved treatments, but there are treatments available with, but with varying levels of success. This includes like what an exercise, Botox, uh, you know, oral or topical cream, stuff like that. So definitely nothing firmly on the market. Its current drug, Corsuva, is on the market, but has not been able to find any success and might never be able to find it with the CMS decision. So we are basically betting on this indication. And this would definitely have to be a long-term hold, just looking at we're not going to get data till 2020, major data till 2025, 2026. So why do a video and what do you see? So the current share price at 58 cents and the market cap at around 31 million could be considered a gift if this drug can make it to market. Obviously, it would be a completely terrible gift, a worthless gift if it cannot. Uh, the company does have enough cash to make it through most of the data readouts, or at least the major one at the end of 2025. So it could be close if there are any delays. And if they can find success, then looking at a $300 million market cap would not be unheard of, which would be an excellent win considering that your market cap right now is $31 million. So you definitely can see, hey, the high risk, high reward part of this. Uh, the company summary, right now they have about $101 million to start the year is what they stated. They believe they will have cash run rate to go until 2026, which is when the second pivotal study would be completed. The net loss for the company is very high, but with reducing 50% of the workforce and cutting all other clinical programs, we're not sure what's going to be. So it's going to be difficult at the moment to determine. I will probably have a better picture of what the net loss will be probably in quarter one or quarter two after all the payouts, the reductions, all of that have been closed out. There is going to be a data reader on the dose finding portion in quarter three, 2024, with the first pivotal trial ending around 2025. So there's going to be two trials, one in 20, ending 2025, one in 2026. And of course, like I said, Corsuva is a drug that's kind of been killed by the CMS decision, which is just not going to give active funding for it. So we don't expect to see any major revenues from that, from the U.S. So... When taking a long look at the stock, uh, there's, there, it, there could be value in it. However, based on the time it will take, it's going to be a long wait, 2025. So personally, I have invested in the stock before Corsuva made it to the market. So that was a very nice win for me to get up there. And obviously a very smart win that I sold and just kind of unfortunately watched it go down a lot. But I'm going to be continuing to monitor the stock and might buy a small speculative position in it based on that one day it might be worth absolutely nothing or could be worth 10 times what I put into it. So again, that's really the basis of this summary is that we have one indication it's going to work and we're going to make a lot of money. It's not going to work. We're not going to make a lot. So it's a very simple basis for small tech pharma, which I kind of like because it's put in this um, Obviously, it is using the same thing as Corsuva, which is an approved product. So there definitely could be a chance that it does work. Of course, then with different indications, as we've seen, it might not. So I hope this helped at least get you some basic information of what you're looking for. And so you can kind of decide, hey, is this the stock for me? Do I want to take a chance? Do I want to take a long-term investment? Or do I just want to? So hopefully that helped. And so thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.